So it's finally time to finish the uh, Aqua Cube build and today we will fill the loop, we will benchmark it, I will include a couple of game benchmarks and we will see how the system is running and if I was capable of building a mini ITX build with water cooling, water cooling the GPU, the CPU, everything using just a single radiator. Now, I really hope that the temps are not too bad, but we will see about that. So to fill the loop, we will use this Gochilla Premix, and uh, let's just say that it's unicorn powder with graphene, with a bit of RGB inside, with I don't know whatever they, else they put in here, but it should work. So let's yeah, let's stop. Okay, it's pitch black, and I mean pitch black. Yeah, I think this should be more than enough to fill that little, little loop here. I will just prepare myself my little uh, pump starter, which is basically a brick power supply, which just which just powers my uh, Noctua, well, for me it's an external uh, PVM controller. And I will hook this up to the pump and then I will uh, cycle the pump until the whole loop is filled. I just need to disconnect the pump PVM beforehand. Yeah, some. The GPU now being at the very top position of the whole loop, it, it becomes so easy to just fill it from here. It's uh, it's ridiculous how easy this is. And from here I have both cables dangling here, so I can cycle the pump through and through, and it just works. And in this position, I even and you now you you should be able to see it. I can even fill the whole the whole GPU water block with liquid without even cycling the pump. Yeah, now I need to slightly tilt it to get the liquid further down. The alpha cool block is is so pitch black that I was I, I was unsure if it is empty or if it is full. And uh, it is full and it looks amazing until now. So yeah there are a couple of bubbles left in there. I guess they will go out over the next few hours. Now before I even test this, it, this looks freaking amazing. Uh, I never had black liquid before in my loop and here especially because you can see the whole GPU, the, the, I thought having black liquid on an acrylic block would look stupid, but I, I was really wrong. This looks really, really freaking cool. Uh, but yeah, let's put the, the stuff back together. Um, you may have seen in the beginning that there is actually a fan mounted like right here, which um, is a 140 fan with 120 holes, but due to the curvature of, of the fan, I cannot uh, make it fit onto the original brackets here because they have like an indentation and on the side, um, and I need to get the heat out. So what I, I did um, as my own little, little hack here, I just installed the fan diagonally. <laughs> Because who cares? I know that's not how it's intended to be to be done, but it works perfectly fine. It's connected. It spins when the PC is running, and uh, I mean it's a custom build. Who cares? Uh, so okay, let's assemble this again and do some benchmarks. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go this is finally it. The Aqua Cube rocking a Ryzen 5600X, a 3060 Ti, and a bunch of water cooling equipment. It really does look freaking amazing. I am really happy how this thing turned out. Now, 
it looks amazing. I I can agree on that. I hope you can agree on that. But the next point is benchmarks. So what we already did is run it with CPU Z at full blast and Fermark 1080p MXAA, and we had 86 degrees on the CPU and 66 degrees on the GPU. So honestly, considering that this is a mini ITX case, this is freaking tiny. I mean, it is it is shorter than my arm. And then not thermal throttling while I'm using just a 120mm radiator that is also thin as, as... I think the temps are amazing. I think this is a real success. Uh, I'm, I have also had it running for a long time in idle and I must say in, in idle I cannot hear it. It is of course you have a, a little bit of, uh, uh, of fan and, and pump noise but in general I am really happy about that alpha cool pump. It is way better than I expected and uh, I can absolutely recommend it if you want to get it. For the rest, I'm so happy about the build. It works perfectly fine. The temps are, as I said, they're okay. Uh, in, uh, running in idle, of course, they are a, a bit lower. We are talking like 50 degrees on the CPU and like for some reason 29 on the GPU. It doesn't equalize that well in here. Um, so it is a bit harder in idle, but 50 degrees is all right, and it never spikes above 90, so I am happy with the result. Really, really freaking happy. On a side note, um, the PC is running right now. I uh, started Metro Exodus's benchmark on Extreme for like 200 times in loop, just to showcase that while I am speaking here, the PC is not loud, even though it is working a lot. <laughs> but while we are at it, let's have a look at a couple of benchmarks. So okay, performance overall really freaking good. The PC turned out so freaking cool, it looks amazing. And the temps are very much all right, as far as I can tell. I really like uh, how that gold chiller liquid turned out. The black color inside that uh, acrylic GPU looks way better than I expected. I thought it would look a bit odd, but no, it looks amazing and I'm really happy about that. What's unfortunate about uh, it being a mini ITX case is that the only part of water that you will be able to see is the GPU. Basically everything else is covered up and I have to remove that side fan to even show a bit inside of the B-rolls how it might look like. Things I could have done better, even though I really like that alpha cool uh, pump and, and reservoir and block combo, I know that Nuvolo has another one which is not as high. I believe that there is no reservoir included in there, but I'm not sure. But uh, even if it is not, I think the place where we have that 140 millip fan cooling, uh, which is taking out the heat out of the system, I think that could have been replaced with a, a real little reservoir and the saved height basically of the block could have been used to put another A12X25 fan on there, probably significantly lowering the temps. Uh, I don't know if it really would have worked that way, we, need, we would need to test that, but I think that would be a better approach. But with the devices that I am, I am using here, I'm also very happy, it turned out pretty freaking well. So yeah, this was my journey with the Aqua Cube, or I want to call it Aqua Cube. I hope you enjoyed the whole journey. I hope you enjoy doing these kinds of video. I tell me in the comments. I have a bunch more ideas what we could build here on the channel. So uh, yeah, if you enjoy them, I'm more than willing to do another one of those. I guess this was it for the Aqua Cube. So at this point, I would like to thank you for watching. And uh, if you have not seen the other parts, have a look at them. I guess they are equally as interesting as the uh, summary. I guess. So okay, thank you for watching, and hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.